Hi, this is Nick Merritt with TheDigitalYardSale.com and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial today on textures. So let's say you have uh, a logo or a photograph that you want to put on a paper or a wood or a wall, a concrete, it doesn't matter as long as it's a flat surface texture. Um, this is a good way to do that and make it look like it's been there for a while, give it a nice worn and weathered look uh, while placing it on a texture. So I have a old paper texture with some folds in it that you'll be able to download from the website. And I also have um, my personal logo, but for the purpose of this tutorial, you can use pretty much anything. You can use a photograph, you can use your logo, you can use text if you don't have anything else. Just type some text out and rasterize it. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to grab my logo and I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to hold shift so that it drags to the center and I'm going to apply a blending mode of multiply so you can click this drop down and choose multiply or you can use the quick uh, the quick way which is option shift M alright so that what that does is going to allow some of this texture through and we can see some of the folds and that, that's starting to look pretty good uh, just by doing that but it's not quite it doesn't look real like if you have this paper folded up in your pocket it, there's going to have some wear to it especially along the folds so uh, that's what we're going to work on today. So now click the background texture layer and we're going to duplicate it by hitting command J. Now take that duplicate and drag it to the top. Alright so we're going to desaturate this by using command shift U. Alright now we're going to go into our layer or not excuse me uh, our levels and choose command L and uh, you see this wave right here that would be the information in this spectrum so there's not a lot of blacks uh, there's not any bright whites but there's there's a lot of lighter colors up there at the top so we're going to drag the black a uh, little arrow all the way up to the end of that and we're going to drag the white down uh, as well we want to get in this area is uh, where we know our logos right here so the amount of dark uh, black texture that's what's going to be taken from the logo um, we're going to be using this as a layer mask so the darker you make it the grungier it's going to look uh, if you don't want a lot of uh, grunge to it then make it much wider so just kind of play around until you get something that looks good uh, I'm going to go with that for now so I'm going to select all by choosing command A uh, and then command C to copy and command D to deselect now I'm going to hide this layer clicking the eye next to it. I'm going to click my logo layer and I'm going to add a layer mask. Now I'm going to hold option and click into this layer mask and hit command V to paste. So now I've pasted this image in here <coughs> Excuse me. and everywhere that is white is going to let the logo come through and everywhere that's black is going to mask the logo out. So that looks pretty cool. Um, you could leave it like this if you want to but it for some reason when I do folds and when I do the same texture on top of it it bothers me to leave it exactly the way it is some things it works best on if there's a lot of identifiable textures in the background that you have to leave the same that's fine but something like this we can kind of cheat it so I'm gonna unlink this layer right here and I'm gonna click on the texture I'm going to command T to transform I'm gonna right click and choose flip horizontal alright so I'm gonna hit uh, enter return to <clears throat> accept that now if you see now our uh, folds aren't lined up so I'm going to drag this over here and line up the folds line up this uh, the grunge fold with the actual fold just tweak it a little bit because I feel like when I do this it it seems to look a little bit better to me it looks more realistic um, to give you an idea alright so now let's let's preview these two see I can see these little black dots through here that came through the texture which is okay but that bothers me so I like to uh, to flip it sometimes 
or to not let the texture be identical to the background when I can. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more realism and uh, doesn't look as planned. So that's a good quick way to uh, apply a background texture as also uh, kind of a grunge texture effect using a layer mask. Um, this will work on photographs, it works on logos, it works on text, it works on anything. Uh, I've tried it with concrete backgrounds and wood backgrounds. So just uh, just go out there and try it. Um, tweak the settings, you know, make it your own. Do whatever you need to to get it to look right. Um, and this is a quick tip with the digital yard sale. And thank you.